Okay, in this video, we're going to go through some details about how to use a GIS program. And I'm going to very quickly teach you a few tricks that you might need to know if you're interested in mapping data or uh, using mapping to create custom maps that you might need to do uh, spatial statistics or spatial econometrics. So what we're going to do in this video, uh, to get you started, you need to go to spatial.berkeyacademy.com. This is the little website I set up. Let me uh, show you what it looks like right here. Uh, the easiest thing to do because I have links here. So I'm working on video two right now. <clears throat> what we're creating and what we're, what we're watching right now is video two, basic GIS tricks. So what you're going to need if you want to follow along is to download the program Map Window, which is free. LibreOffice or OpenOffice, which are free. Uh, US Map, which is free. Here's the link. Uh, World Map, free. And some income data from the Census Bureau, free. So just uh, download all these things and install Map Window and LibreOffice there uh, because we're going to be using those programs in just a minute. So I assume that you've downloaded all those things. And with the US map and the world map, those will be zip files that you need to unzip into a directory. And so what you should have is a directory that looks something like this. Once you unzip those files, you'll have two folders, and each of those folders will have several different uh, files in them that are all part of what you need to map. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up this um, uh, well first let me let me tell you basically what we're going to do here we're going to open these maps of the world and the US states and I'm going to show you some tricks about how to how to do this in the this GIS program we're going to delete some areas that we might not be interested in so if you have a map and there are some states or other regions you don't want in that map I'll show you how to get rid of those then we're going to add some new data to a map that comes from a different source. And then we're going to make a color map of uh, income by state just so we can visualize that. That's a common thing that you want to be able to do. So I assume you've all, all done all this. Let's get started with the action here. Let's open map window. All right, and let's just close this window that, that opens up when we get started here. And let me uh, shrink this a little bit so that it can fit in the window that I'm filming. Okay, that's pretty good. So when you open up this GIS program, what we want to do is add a couple of layers. So this little green plus sign, we're going to add the layers here. And the... Uh, two layers that we want to add here here are those two folders that you should create when you download those two map files let's just go into each of these folders and click on the shape file so this first one is a shape file of the entire world and then we can just click add again and let's go back to that folder and let's go to the other little folder called S28 AU12. Um, these are the states. Now what happened, you might not be able to see this very well, is it added the states on top of the gray uh, world file. Suppose you wanted that to pop a little more. Uh, this green doesn't stand out from the gray. You can look over here at the two data layers Let's double click on the green and we could change that color to something that might be a little bit easier to see. Maybe uh, a red here. Let's see. So I just double clicked that little pink color and now you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Now another trick that you need to be able to, to do in a GIS program like this is see these little tiny check boxes over here. If we didn't want to see one of the layers we can click the little check mark there and it will turn it off another little trick is sometimes what will happen is uh, suppose you opened up the state file and then the world file what might happen is that the world file will be on top of the states covering them up what you can do is change the order 
of which layer is on top of which other layer by dragging these layers. I'm just left clicking with my map and dragging. Now that this layer is below this layer in this little list, it's underneath the, uh, the world file, so we can't see it. So if we drag it back on top, <clears throat> then that layer will be on top. That's something that will frustrate you if you, if you don't know that little trick. Uh, another way that you can manipulate these real quickly, just uh, showing you an, a couple of tricks. Let me put those states underneath the world again. Let's double click on this gray. Actually, I just single clicked on it. In, in some GIS programs, you have to double click there. What you can do is make um, that layer a little transparent so that you can see underneath it. And um, so I, I made it, instead of uh, not transparent at all, I dragged this down to about 100. OK. And now you can see that, um, that state file underneath there a little bit showing through. You can also, if you don't want to uh, just make it a little bit of transparent, you can um, make it totally transparent, or you can, let's see what happens if we, if we make that into that light color there. What I'm trying to do is make it um, to where there's no fill color there. And again, to be honest, oh, here we go. Show fill. Click the show fill. Um, I haven't <clears throat> used this map window program very much. I'm, I'm used to ArcGIS, so I'm going to be making some mistakes here as we go. So let's click the show fill box here and apply. OK. And so now we can just see through the outlines of the countries, and that's going to let us see uh, whatever is underneath there. And sometimes that's a better option than uh, putting it on top just gives you a slightly different effect sometimes. So now we have these two layers and we've learned how to manipulate them a little bit. Let me show you another trick. Let's turn off the, um, the countries and let's see what is actually in this um, United States file. Suppose we wanted to make some maps of the United States but we did not want some of the states. For example, here's Puerto Rico, a free associated state. And also, right here beside Puerto Rico is, let me click this I for identify here. In addition to Puerto Rico, we have the Virgin Islands. So the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico here. Perhaps the map we want to make doesn't include Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Also, I think this map, let me zoom out here a little bit. I think it also includes Guam as a part of this file. So let's go over to the Pacific over here and see if we can find Guam. Let's see what's down here. Identify. There's American Samoa. Okay, so all of that's American Samoa. So if you wanted to make a map that did not include either a few states, or suppose you just wanted to make a map of the southeastern United States, or just the 48 states, let me show you how you can make a map that only includes those options. Let me pan to where we're, we're just looking at those right there. Let's right-click on this uh, data layer here that has the 50 states in it. So right click and let's go to view metadata. Okay, there's no metadata there. I was going to uh, show you how sometimes you can look at metadata and that will tell you what kind of projection the file is listed in, but we'll just skip that since there is no metadata here. Let's go to the attribute table editor. This is where we can look at the data that is associated with these shapes. And in this map file that we're looking at, there's not a whole lot of data. Some of them come with 
data about the population of the states and other things. This one just includes a shape ID number, which doesn't really mean anything, the state abbreviation, state name, the FIPS code, which is a standardized numeric code that is used to identify each state, county, town, metro area. And for states, it's just a two-digit two code here. So Alaska is 02, Alabama 01. And here is the longitude and the latitude. So that's all that's included here. Now one way, if you want to get rid of some areas, is to first, let's select those areas that we want to get rid of. So suppose we did not want to have Puerto Rico. So let's select that row here. And also, say, the Virgin Islands. Hit the, hold down the Control key and click Virgin Islands. Then, let's see, American Samoa was another one that we might want to... Uh, to get rid of um, if we just and let's say we also for example wanted to get rid of Alaska and um, Hawaii let's see Alaska American Samoa and Hawaii suppose we just wanted to make a map uh, containing the lower 48 or the the contiguous 48 states here let me make sure that there's no other entities here that we might want to get rid of okay that looks that looks pretty good here now um, what I'm looking for is to invert our selection so let's click the selection drop down and now you'll note that we have selected Alaska American Samoa Hawaii Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands let's invert the selection what that's going to do is select all the other states or, or areas that we haven't selected. Now what you can do is you can actually look at this uh, interactively. We had all that data uh, covering the map up, but as you select and let me invert that selection here again, it will switch back and forth on the map to show you which areas you have selected in yellow here versus the ones you haven't selected, which are that, still that pink color. Let me invert the selection again. That will only have the, the lower 48 states selected. Suppose we want to save a new map file, and in this new map file, all we're going to have are these lower 48 states. Let me show you how we can save that. So if we, if we want to save just those lower 48 states along with the data and everything there, go to Selection, Export Selected Features. Now, don't let this confuse you with another option. This is what uh, drives me crazy in GIS uh, programs a lot. Over here, if you go to um, Project Export, Project Export actually doesn't really export a, a map. It, it exports a picture of the map. So this is going to export a, a graphics file, like a JPG file or something like that. If you want to actually create a new map file that just contains what you've selected, Selection, Export, Selected Features. And now it brings up a window where it wants us to give us uh, to give it a new map. So we can just call this new map Lower 48 States, for example. Now when we save this shape file, it's not just going to create one file with a .shp, it's going to create a whole group of files that all have to be moved and stored together. And we'll, we'll look at that in just a second. So let's go save. Do we also want to load the new shape file? Sure. You don't have to. Okay. Let's close this window. So now you'll see that we have three data layers here. We have the one with the entire world, we have the original pink one, and now we have this purple one that only should include those 48 states. So let's zoom out and make sure that that's all there is. Oop. Now this is a good thing. I did this. We're missing something. We're not actually missing something. We have something extra over here. Let's see what we have that we did not remove that we should have. Identify Guam. 
Okay, we forgot to deselect Guam. No problem. Let's open this up again. So, attribute table editor. Yep, there it is, Guam. Selection. Invert selection. So now Guam is not selected. Selection. Export selected features. So now let's uh, create that again. Lower... 48 oh, new now it's probably not going to let me overwrite the file because it's already open in the program so I'll call this lower 48 new and then I'll delete that one that included Guam in just a minute so let's save that do we want to load it yes so I didn't check carefully enough before when we created this so again now let's unselect the old one all right now this button I just collected to uh, selected to zoom into um, these 48 states was extent and what that should do is zoom into uh, full screen everything that is in uh, all of the shape files that you are currently showing if we uh, select that one that includes Guam and we click extent again, it's going to zoom out until we can barely see Guam over here. Okay, so let's unselect that one. Click extent. So now we can be sure that, uh, at least fairly sure, that uh, we have created a file with just the lower 48 states. Now since this video is starting to get a little long here, I'm going to end here and then we're going to reopen up this project again in the next video and what we'll do is we'll add some data and we'll make a, a color map of that data, sometimes called a chloropleth map. So we'll come back with section two and we'll do that.